Hey, happy Wednesday. Are you ready for your breakthrough? Are you ready for your new season? That sounds like a commercial. But I mean, we, I mean, it, it, come on, let's, let's believe God. I mean, why not today, you know, that God can do it? Matter of fact, the Bible says it like this. It says, do not remember the things that, are, that have happened before. Do not think about the things of the past. See, I will do a new thing. It will begin happening now. Faith is now. He says, will you not know about it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Come on, let's thank God for a way of victory. Let's thank God for a way out. Let's thank God for a turnaround. Let's thank God for a breakthrough. And so we talked about yesterday about one of the barriers that we need to overcome, and that's the emotional barrier. So look at yesterday, we talked about the emotional barrier. Today we're going to talk about the the intellectual barrier. The intellectual barrier says it doesn't make sense to trust God. The emotional barrier deals with bad experiences, but the intellectual barrier really deals with bad teaching or bad information. And much of the ministry of Jesus was really devoted to correcting bad teaching. Even Paul, you know, uh, Paul, same thing. Paul's ministry was dealing with bad teaching. And so trusting God gives us a better perspective, really a mindset focus on a higher truth. And so we, we got to make sure we got good information. We have good doctrine. We're, we're at a church that's going to teach us the word of God that we can grow and become all that God wants us to be. It's not just an emotional teaching, but we can actually look it up in the scripture and see what the Bible says about a situation or about a circumstance. Matter of fact, Isaiah 55 says this. He says, seek the Lord while you can find him. Call on him now while he is near. Let the wicked, the wicked, let the wicked change their ways and banish the very thought of doing wrong. Let them turn to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. Yes, turn to our God, for he will forgive generously. Let me, let me take a quick time out right there. I believe a lot of times people are having an issue with forgiving themselves or, or forgiveness in general. But I, I really want you to receive God's forgiveness. For you to walk in this uh, new season, for the barriers to be broken, you have to live a life of a forgiver. Let it go. Forgive them, forgive yourself, and walk in this newness of life. Now, verse 8 says, My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. And so trusting God really gives us direction. Now, we can kind of talk about the thought thing, but, but one of the things the Bible says, Paul says, we have the mind of Christ. And so when you, when you start operating in God's word, you're, you're really getting God's thoughts. The Bible says in Romans 12 to do what? To renew your mind. You're getting God's thoughts. You're getting how he thinks. You're seeing how he operates. And you begin to get his thoughts. You begin to do things his way. And guess what? Now you're flowing in God's direction. Matter of fact, Proverbs chapter 3 says it like this, trust in the Lord completely. Trust in the Lord completely and do not rely on your own opinions. With all your heart, rely on him to guide you and he will lead you in every decision you make. So the word trust in Hebrew means to lean on with the full body, to lay upon, to rest the full weight upon. You may have seen people do those trust falls where one person just another person catches. That's what we got to do a trust fall, you know, with God. We got to get a, do a trust fall with our issues. We got to do a trust fall with our family. Whatever things that's trying to keep you up, up at night, you got to do a trust fall and trust God to handle it, to make it right. Number two, the word lean is used for leaning against a tree or stone. Uh, it says you lean on something when you are not strong enough to stand by yourself. So an understanding here refers to the mental processes which by which you analyze a problem, break it down into smaller parts, and then decide about what you're going to do. In other words, use all your mental powers, but do not lean on them for total Support. Don't trust in your own ability to figure out your life. Learn or lean instead on the Lord. Rest your weight on him. 
As I wrap this up, a couple more, a couple more. You can translate the word acknowledge this way by saying, in all your ways, know him. The Hebrew word means to know deeply and intimately. It is the kind of knowledge that comes with personal experience. It means to know something through and through. And then the final word is to direct your paths can be translated. He will make your paths smooth or he'll make your paths straight. Here is the message from Proverbs chapter 3. If you know God in every area of your life, he will take personal responsibility to make your way smooth and straight. He will remove the obstacles if they need to be removed. Come on, man, that's a powerful word. Let's trust God. Let's not allow the intellectual barrier to hold us back any longer. I'll see you tomorrow as we begin to wrap up this series on Breaking Barriers. We love you guys.